Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a telescope just like this one right here. I'll specifically be addressing the simple fact that you potentially can't see anything through the telescope and these are easy fixes to try first so let's get right into this video. So if you can't see anything through your telescope, these are some easy fixes that you should be trying first. So I'm gonna step into the camera frame right now and I'm gonna turn my little notes around here so I can sort of see what I wrote down. Um, I wrote down five things that you can try out. So the first thing, uh, and the most simplistic thing is to remove the dust cover. Now believe it or not, um, most telescopes are gonna come with a dust cover, just like this. And if you're just using it, you know, I cannot tell you even the number of professionals uh, that use telescopes on a regular basis that still look through and they're like, it's not working, well, because you forgot to remove the dust cover. Take a look at the objective lens, which is the big one at the front here, and remove the dust cover from that objective lens. Number two is to look for other dust covers. There are also potentially dust covers um, inside of the objective lens, rarely, but sometimes they might be inside of there. There might be a little uh, piece of like a paper vinyl that's inside of there as well. Um, you might have some dust covers on the eyepiece, on the, um, I can't remember what this piece is called, I call it the, like the refractor lens, but that's not what it is, it's called the star diagonal, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, you might have uh, dust covers on that. So look for other dust covers, that's number two, okay? If you've removed all the dust covers, you can move on to number three, which is to align the finder scope with the telescope. Maybe you are looking through the telescope, the, uh, the eyepiece lens over here, and you can't see anything, and that's because you think you're looking at something, but in reality you might be looking at something else. Um, <clears throat> you might be looking at something that's like a really dark area, that's why you can't see anything. Okay? By aligning the finder scope with the telescope lens itself, you're going to be able to look through the finder scope and aim your telescope, and it will be aimed precisely. Okay? So align the finder scope with the telescope, and to do that you got to look at something that you know you can see really close up, decently close up, align it, and then you can look far off into the distance. So make sure your finder scope is aligned, and, and even if you think it is aligned, realign it, because they come out of alignment quite often. Often, um, it, it happens. It is what it is. It's just part of using a telescope. If that doesn't help you out uh, to be able to see through the telescope, move on to number four, which is to adjust the focuser to get a better view. Uh, now, when something is blurry, you're usually going to be able to see that it's blurry. But if something is really blurry, you might look like there's nothing there at all. The focuser wheel is this wheel over here, and essentially you can adjust it um, back and forth to make it uh, you know, more or less clear, less blurry I should say. You want it to get more clear. So you want to adjust the focuser, see if that makes a difference. I would suggest bringing it all the way back and all the way forward and looking through the eyepiece through that entire range to see if you notice anything. If you do notice something, then the problem is likely going to be with the clarity and your focuser wheel needing to be adjusted, okay? Um, and lastly, number five, the fifth thing that you can do is to choose a lower magnification. So obviously, depending on the eyepiece that you're choosing, you're going to get different levels of magnification. Um, what you want to do is choose a lower magnification. Sometimes when something is too magnified, it looks like you can't see anything at all, okay? So choose a lower magnification that might help you out. And that's essentially it. If you like this video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.